Self-propelled artillery, also called locomotive artillery, is artillery equipped with its own propulsion system to move toward its firing position. Within the terminology include the self-propelled gun, self-propelled howitzer, self-propelled mortar, and rocket artillery. They are high-mobility vehicles, usually based on continuous tracks carrying either a large field gun, howitzer, mortar, or some form of rocket or missile launcher. These vehicles are usually used for long-range indirect bombardment support on the battlefield. These artillery systems are used as combat support weapons. Normally, they provide indirect fire, however, if needed, they also have direct fire capability. Most modern self-propelled howitzers are fully or partially armored. So, which is the most capable and effective self-propelled artillery in the world? The following is the top 10 analysis based on firepower, rate of fire, ammunition load, deployment and redeployment time, protection, and some other factors. Without further ado, let's check it out. Number 1. 2S35 Colet CISV The 2S35 Colet CISV is a Russian self-propelled gun that was first seen in public with its turret, covered in 2015 during rehearsals for the Moscow Victory Day Parade. As a successor to the 2S19 Mistadess, this is the most recent Russian artillery system. It was unique and had two of 152mm guns. In 2013, a new prototype of the Kolitsia SV was completed, with a different design and only one gun. A first batch of 12 artillery systems was delivered to the Russian army in 2015. Currently, it is one of the most capable howitzers in the world. It has an unmanned turret and is armed with a 152mm ordnance. Operated by a crew of three, including commander, gunner, and driver, this vehicle has a fully automated ammunition loading and handling system and utilizes modular charge system. Moreover, it is able to fire a wide range of munitions, including standard and rocket-assisted heat-harag shells, cluster shells with anti-tank submunitions, and jammer-carrying shells. The Kolitsia SV is capable of firing older Krasnopol precision-guided munitions with a range of 20 to 25 kilometers. With a maximum rate of fire around 8 shells per minute, it seems that the Kolitsia SV has the capacity to multiple rounds simultaneous impact firing. Lastly, this artillery system carries an impressive onboard ammunition supply of around 60 to 70 shells and has a built-in ammunition reloading system at the rear of the turret allowing it to load ammunition from resupply trucks. Number 2. Archer FH-77BWL-52 Howitzer Archer FH-77BWL-52 is a 155mm self-propelled howitzer manufactured by BAE Systems Bofors in Karlskoga, Sweden. It is fully autonomous and mostly used in traditional warfare fire support as well as modern international peacekeeping and peace enforcement missions. The howitzer comprises a 40 km range using current standard ammunition and a 60 km range with the M982 Excalibur rounds. In regard to the armament, this artillery system has the main weapon, which is the 155mm 52 caliber gun. The gun employs the proven design of the cradle and recoil system from the current generation FH-77B towed field howitzer. Being equipped with a target acquisition or designation sight feature, the gun performs a direct fire capability. Moreover, the weapon is fitted with a fire control system, laying system and inertial navigation, and a muzzle velocity radar. Data from the radar is downloaded to the onboard computerized fire control system. However, Archer can use other remote weapon stations on the market. Number 3. Donar Artillery Gun Module, AGM. The Donar Artillery Gun Module from Cross Matthew Wegman is a highly advanced 155mm howitzer based on the ASCO D2 infantry fighting vehicle chassis, supplied by General Dynamics European Land Systems. The Donar system takes the traditional artillery doctrine to a new level by incorporating a fully automatic firing module on a highly mobile platform. The 35T system carries a combat load of up to 30 projectiles and 145 charges. It can fire six rounds a minute for a maximum range of more than 40 kilometers, which can be increased to over 56 kilometers with the use of higher range munitions. 
The armored cabin protects the two-man crews against small arms, artillery splinters, mortar munitions, and NBC threats. The module is fitted with hybrid inertial navigation and GPS, automatic fire control system, as well as auto tracking and correction features. The Donar system can drive at a top speed of over 60 km per hour for a maximum range of 500 km. Number 4. PS-2000 The PSH-2000 or Panzerhabitz 2000 is the 155mm self-propelled howitzer manufactured by Cross Matthew Wegman, together with the main subcontractor Rheinmetall Land Sustain for the German Army. During firing tests in October 1997 with an upgraded autoloader, the PSH-2000 fired 12 rounds in 59.74 seconds and 20 rounds in 1 minute 47 seconds. In terms of design, this howitzer weighs 57 tons and carries a combat load of 60 projectiles and 288 charges, as well as five crew members. The PSH-2000 also integrates the built-in test equipment system and can fire in multiple rounds, simultaneous impact, MRSI mode. The self-propelled artillery system reaches a maximum range of 420 kilometers. Additionally, a completely automatic loading system, navigation system, and fire control computer ensure that targets are addressed at a rate of 8 to 10 rounds per minute over a 56-kilometer range. For the information, a PSH-2000 howitzer turret has been equipped on the deck of German Navy F-124 frigate Hamburg as a demonstration of the feasibility of the system for naval applications. Number 5. Kieser 155mm Howitzer Kieser is an effective self-propelled artillery system produced by Nexter Systems to deliver direct fire, counter-battery fire and coastal defense in support of motorized, mechanized and armored units. It has the capacity to fire all regular NATO 155mm ammunition. According to the updates, the Kaiser artillery system is currently in use by several armies including France, Saudi Arabia, Thailand, and Indonesia. It is to note that the French army successfully deployed Kaiser howitzers in Afghanistan and Lebanon. The system has a rate of fire of 6 rounds a minute and can fire extended range full bore ammunition for 42 kilometers and rocket shells for a maximum distance of over 50 kilometers. In regard to the design, the Kieser is a wheeled 155 mm 52 caliber self-propelled howitzer. It holds 18 rounds and is typically operated by a crew of 5. The Kieser can also be operated by as few as 3 personnel. This vehicle can be transported by C-130 or a 400M and has a firing range of approximately 42 km using an extended range, full bore shell, and more than 50 km using rocket-assisted shells. The system is linked with a fully computerized system, providing automatic control. During Euro Satori 2006, Kieser was exhibited with an automated laying system based on the Sigma-30 inertial navigation system. Number 6. K-9 Thunder The K-9 Thunder refers to a South Korean 155mm self-propelled howitzer design. It was developed by the Agency for Defense Development and Samsung Aerospace Industries for the Republic of Korea Armed Forces and is now manufactured by Hanwha Defense. K-9 howitzers operate in groups with the K-10 Automatic Ammunition Resupply Vehicle variant. The entire K-9 fleet operated by the ROK Armed Forces is currently undergoing upgrades to K-901, and further upgrade variant K-902 is being tested for production. Furthermore, the K-9's 155mm per 52 caliber gun has excellent firepower, firing projectiles at a rate of 6 rounds per minute for a maximum range of 41 km. This howitzer is complemented by K-10 fully automatic ammunition resupply vehicle and is powered by an MTU-EMT 881K A 508-cylinder water-cooled diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower. The propulsion system ensures a top speed of 67 km per hour and an operational range of 480 km. Number 7. Nora B-52 Self-Propelled Gun Howitzer The Nora B-52 is a 155mm, 52 caliber self-propelled gun howitzer produced by Yugon Port STPR designed primarily for the Serbian Army. 
In 2003, the first prototype of the Nora B-52 was released, followed by the development of the system which was finished in 2004, and the first 12 systems entered into service with the Serbian Army in 2007. Meanwhile, the 11th SP Regiment of Bangladesh Army formally received the Nora B-52 K-1 guns in December 2013, and the Myanmar Army operates 30 Nora B-52 howitzers. In regard to the design, the Nora B-52 howitzer weighs 28,000 kilograms and is capable of firing all standard NATO's 155mm ammunition at a rate of 6 rounds per minute. It can strike targets within the range of 42 kilometers using extended range full bore base bleed projectiles. The first system was built on FAP 2832 truck chassis, while the most recent versions are mounted on CAMAS 8x8 truck chassis. Number 8 Crab 155mm SPA the Crab 155mm self-propelled howitzer was developed by Huda Stiloa Wola for the Polish Armed Forces. The howitzer is intended to destroy batteries of artillery and anti-aircraft missiles, command posts, as well as enemy fortifications and mechanized attachments. This artillery system uses a modified chassis of the Polish PT-91 Tordy main battle tank. The Crab won international competition and was selected by the Polish Army. First of these howitzers were delivered to the Polish Army in 2012. However, the future of this artillery system seems uncertain due to various problems. The Crab is equipped with 155mm L-52 howitzer, which is compatible with all standard NATO 155mm ammunition. It has an automatic shell loading system and modular charge system with a maximum range of fire of 30 km, having standard HEFRI shell and 40 kilometers with rocket-assisted shell and able to carry a total of 60 shells. The Crab is also fitted with a polished fire control system, intercom, and radios. This artillery system is completed with a Danish muzzle reference system, which tracks outgoing projectiles and adjusts the next shot. The Crab also uses modified chassis of the PT-91 Tordyman battle tank. However, since 2012 production of the engine for this chassis stopped, eventually, Poland acquired the track chassis of the South Korean K-9 self-propelled howitzer for the Crab. Number 9. Atmos 155mm self-propelled howitzer. The Atmos or Autonomous Truck Mounted Howitzer System is a computerized 155mm self-propelled artillery system produced by Elbit Systems. It's a light, long-range, highly mobile artillery system that meets today's land force's crucial needs. The Atmos modular design allows it to be installed on a wide range of certified in-service trucks. The system includes the most sophisticated NATO standard 52 caliber gun system with a range of 41 kilometers. When fed with an autoloader, it can fire at a rapid rate of five rounds per minute. The Atmos artillery system is also equipped with an inbuilt electronic sweep that provides enhanced firepower and accuracy. With a modified shielded cabin and specific layout, it may be fitted on any 666 or 868 in-service high-mobility trucks. Number 10. Singapore Self-Propelled Howitzer 1 SSPH-1 Primus The Singapore Self-Propelled Howitzer 1 Primus is a 155mm, 39-caliber track howitzer operated by the Singapore Armed Forces. Developed in collaboration with the SAF, Defense Science and Technology Agency, and Singapore Technologies Kinetics, Primus is the first self-propelled heavy artillery gun that entered service with the SAF. Primus uses the modified armored hull of the proven United Defense, now B-80 systems, M109 155mm self-propelled howitzer. The vehicle accommodates four crew members including a commander, driver, ammo loader, and a charge loader. This vehicle was designed to carry high volumes of payload to targets within a short time. The high automation technology used in the Primus enables the minimal four-man crew to operate the system effectively. The howitzer shares several automotive components with the Bionics Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFE, operated by the SAF. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And the most important one is to hit the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.